Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick. If you're new to my show, my purpose is very simple, and that is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, more abundant lives. And guys, this is part four of a four-part series entitled Natural Solutions to Diabetes. And if you haven't had a chance to go back and look at my other videos I did on this, I highly recommend you do that. But part one was really all about nutrition. How do we nutritionally deal with diabetes? And there are things that we can do. In fact, we specifically spoke about the ketogenic diet. Number two, we started speaking about exercise. And really, how does exercise affect this? How does exercise affect what we call insulin sensitivity or insulin resistance? It can be helped. And number three was really all about toxins and how the toxins we have in our everyday uh, life can actually affect and create inflammation in our body and how that inflammation is one of the major causes of insulin resistance. Well guys, number four is all about neurology and I'll tell you what, in all honesty, this is the single most important part. So this video you wanna watch till the end because if you don't get this one down, none of the other ones matter. If you don't get the neurology right, it doesn't matter what you're eating. If you don't get the neurology right, it doesn't matter how you're exercising. In fact, you might not even be able to exercise and if you don't get the neurology right, it doesn't matter if you're detoxing or not. So this is by far the single most important one because when it comes to diabetes, as you guys know, this is something that we really need to take seriously, that diabetes is absolutely sweeping the world. It's probably the number one fastest growing disease right now. And in the United States, about 30% of people either are diabetic or pre-diabetic. So this is, this is something we really need to take seriously because when you really think about it, it is gonna profoundly influence your life. And many of you already know that. Maybe you've given up already. I will tell you, please don't do that. Watch my four videos on this because there are things that you can do. You're probably thinking, you know what, it's genetic. If it's a genetic problem, I can't do anything about it anyway. Well, you know what? There's things that we can do to actually beat genetics, and it's called epigenetics. We'll probably talk about that on a future seminar, but these are some of the things that you can do. So please watch this whole video to the end. If you know someone who has diabetes, please share this with them. And you know what, too? If this makes sense to you and this you feel is a valuable video, please make sure you like, you share, comment, and subscri subscribe. Like I said, get this video to people that you know that could really benefit for it. Subscribe to our channel, hit that little notification bell so that way you're aware of all the videos that we do. All right, so guys, let's go ahead and dive on into the neurologic solution to diabetes. So really the most important thing that I think most people forget about their bodies is that the reality is your spine is like a fuse panel. You know the fuse panel in your house, Okay, if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's probably in your garage or maybe it's in a storage, it's in a cabinet or closet somewhere. And really, the fuse panel is what controls all the circuits in your house. So you know you have fuses for your, maybe your refrigerators, fuses for your receptacles, fuses for your jacuzzi tub in your bedroom, fuses for maybe your kids upstairs bedrooms or whatever it may be, the master bath. You know what the fuses are there for. So your body really runs the same way. You've got fuses for every single part of your body. And basically that means you have nerve connections, neurological connections to the different parts of your spine and how it then controls and influences the different organs of your body. So every single cell, tissue and organ is completely under control of your nerve system. So let's take a look at how this looks on the spine. So the human spine, as I said, is made up of multiple different vertebrae, about 24 vertebrae, where it surrounds and protects your spinal cord. So all the individual nerves exit here and go to all the different pieces and parts of your body. So this can pretty much overlay over the top of this picture so you can get an idea what I'm talking about. So your body, your spine, your nerve system, the central nerve system, which is the controlling system of your entire body, is basically like a fuse panel. Now, Unfortunately, what most people don't realize is that your nerves, your nerve system controls every single cell, tissue, and organ of your body. So what would happen if the nerve right here actually gets cut to your pancreas? Well, you would actually become an instant diabetic. Your pancreas would no longer work because it's not receiving proper messages from your brain. So once again, on your spine, if the nerve right over here, right around between your shoulder blades, gets cut to your pancreas, your pancreas wouldn't work anymore. It would literally become paralyzed. It would cease to function. You would become an instant diabetic because your pancreas would not know to receive messages from your brain to actually make insulin. So when there's nerve damage to the spinal cord or spinal nerves in the area that controls your pancreas, it will actually shut your nerves down. Your nerves, when they get shut down, 
it actually causes the pancreas to malfunction or become dysfunctional. Now, what can cause that? Well, something we call vertebral subluxation. And vertebral subluxation is a chiropractic term, which simply means that the vertebra of your spine are out of alignment. And when they're not lined up properly, when they actually misalign, like over here, and they move out of their proper alignment, and they actually pinch the nerves, what ends up happening is, just like if you cut the nerve and shuts it off completely, if you pinch the nerve, you're gonna shut it off over time. It's gonna be a slower process, but you will still start to cause the pancreas to decrease function, to make less insulin, which will then cause you to become a type two diabetic. Very, very simple. When the nerve is dying off or when the nerve is being pinched off, it actually causes the pancreas to cease to function properly. Now, what can cause this? Well, different stresses. What causes vertebral subluxation in our bodies are three kinds of stresses, physical, chemical, and emotional. The physical stresses are pretty obvious. You slip, you fall, you have a sprain, a strain, automobile accident, maybe you fall or hurt yourself in a sporting injury, maybe you sleep wrong, maybe you're doing some yard work and it causes your spine to become misaligned. Maybe poor posture. Poor posture, you're hunched over a computer and it causes your spine to become misaligned. Maybe you're carrying things on one side of your body or the other. Maybe a purse, maybe you tend to carry luggage or a package. It actually causes your spine to shift and bend and twist. What if you just don't sit properly when you're doing your work or sitting at home and you tend to sit off to the side and you cause all these kinds of spinal or postural distortions? That's the physical stress we're speaking about. What about chemical stresses? Well, chemical stresses you almost can't avoid today because they're food colorings, dyes, additives, preservatives, anything that comes in a package with a barcode is going to have a lot of artificial ingredients in it, potentially. There's plastics, things are stored in plastic. We have over 8,000 chemicals that today we are exposed to in our food supply and about 80,000 chemicals overall that we're exposed to either in the atmosphere or cleaning supplies or just being in your car. That new car smell is actually really bad for you. So these different chemicals can cause the spine to misalign. And then there's emotional stress. Emotional stress, you know what that's like. It's, that's family issues you may be going through. That's maybe some emotional things at work. Maybe you have job deadlines. Maybe you have you know, a spouse or children that are giving you issues. So all these different physical stresses, chemical stresses, and emotional stresses cause the spine, cause the vertebra in our spine to then misalign out of its proper position. When it does, once again, it will actually pinch the nerve. And just like if we cut the nerve, it shuts that part down. If we pinch the nerve, it's gonna shut that part down slowly, but it's still in the end gonna do the same thing. What we see on x-rays, so when a patient comes into my office and we take x-rays, it could be a minor misalignment or it could be more severe. It could be a full-blown scoliosis. Either way, when we see the misalignments within the spine and we do different tests, one test we do is called surface electromyography, which means we put sensors on the patient's back just like you would for an EKG, and we can actually measure the output of the nerves in that area. We do x-rays to see exactly how the spine is positioned. We do range of motion studies. We do something called palpation, where I actually feel the patient's spine. So all these different things I'm using to clue me in as to where these subluxations are because they're very dangerous to have. Then we might even see something more gross abnormality or a scoliosis or a severe misalignment. Either way, they're still causing problems neurologically to the pancreas. So guys, I can't stress this enough. First and foremost, the single most important thing we all need to do when you want to solve the problem of diabetes isn't the nutritional aspect, is not the detoxification aspect, and it's not exercise. The single most important thing we all need to do is look at the spine neurologically because we have to look at where all health and healing comes from. You know, one of the analogies I, gives my, I give my patients all the time, and I'm not trying to sound gross or morbid on you, is this. We have to look at where health and healing comes from. And if it doesn't work on a corpse, it's not going to work on us. And what do I mean by that? You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Dr. Nick, you just went crazy here. You know, I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you mean a corpse? Well, think about this. A corpse has all the same body parts we do. It has a brain. It has a spinal cord. It has a heart, liver, spleen, kidneys, intestines, pancreas, okay? But is it going to make a difference if we give the corpse all the most positive motivational music? 
if we put earphones or earbuds on it and give it the most positive motivational thoughts? What about if we give it the purest oxygen, then we put it in a hyperbaric chamber? What if we give it the purest alkaline water? What if we give it the finest organic foods, the grass-fed meats, the best vegetables from the healthiest places in the world where the soil is the most fertile? Is that going to make a difference? Is that going to somehow bring that corpse back? And the answer is no, because there's one single thing that the corpse is missing that all of us have, and that is life. Life energy is the true healer. Life energy, life force, that spark of life that flows from the brain downward out through the spinal cord and nerves to all the cells, tissues, and organs of the body that stirs it into life, that gives it vibrancy and vitality. That's where all the healing comes from. It doesn't come from the pills and the potions or the shots or the lotions. It doesn't come from creams. It doesn't come from vitamins. It doesn't come from vitamin E and everything else. It doesn't come from essential oils. It comes from the life energy that's within the body that flows from the brain down out through the nerves to all the parts. So for your pancreas, creates the work properly the way God designed it, you have to make sure it's getting proper nerve supply. So you always have to look neurologically at the source, at the lifeline. You have to make sure that the nerve channel, where the nerve is coming out of, to that hole right there, where the messages are coming out from the brain, out to the pancreas, are working normally. That's the best way that you're going to be able to beat diabetes. So guys, I hope you like this video. I'm sorry I got to preach on you a little bit at the end, but you know what, I really feel like I need to hit home with that because I think we're so many times we're looking outside the body for the cure. Somehow it's in some kind of shark cartilage or in some kind of exotic fruit in the Amazon, but what we need to realize is all health and healing and wellness comes from within. Then we throw everything else on top of it, like a great diet, like the keto diet or paleo. Then we give it the best exercise, and we pray, and we meditate, and we detox. Then it all matters, but none of that works if the nerve system isn't working right. That's where all health, healing, and life comes from. So like I said, guys, I hope you liked the video. If so, please make sure you like, you share, you comment, and you subscribe, okay? Make sure you get this information out to your friends who really need it, who are struggling with diabetes, who have given up maybe thinking, well, you know what, it's a genetic thing. I can't do anything about this anymore. Well, I'm telling you, you can. You can get well, you can beat it, and you can be the best that God created for you to be. So guys, thank you so much for being with me today. Keep spreading the word. Keep following my channel. Thank you so much for making my channel grow. And I will see you next time. God bless.